Hello. Welcome to Crime Story VN Channel. There is a saying that goes like this. If you start a relationship with someone and your parents, see the wrong person. Always be alert before entering into a relationship with someone, especially a man like the following story. The final consequences were so dire that it not only affected the foolish girl herself, but also involved those around her and haunted public opinion. So what happened? Let's come to Hong Kong in 2013. Tranman Gee was born in 1987, in Hong Kong. Her parents were honest workers and in addition to Tranman Gee, the family also had two other daughters. All five family members settled in the Thuan Mon area, where there was a compact house with two children. Bedroom, a living room. Although living in a not large house, on the contrary, Tranman Gee's family is extremely cohesive and harmonious. Every day they share small joys together, overcome difficulties and accompany each other on life's journey. Tranman Gee is an outstanding girl. She affirmed that since she was young and continued to improve her knowledge at Lam Vu Memorial High School, a prestigious educational institution belonging to the Anglican system. In 2004, her excellence was also demonstrated by winning a scholarship from the school and entering Chinese University, Hong Kong, one of the leading educational institutions in the region. During her time at university, Tranman Gi stood out not only for her intelligence but also for her attractive beauty. Many classmates did not hesitate to express that she had such stunning beauty that if she did not pursue a career, flight attendant, that's a pity. This sparked in Tranman Gi a new idea, a dream that she was determined to realize. After graduating from university, Tranman Gi passed the rigorous interview round of a famous airline and successfully joined Cathay Dragon. With patience and constant effort, she completed a professional training course. In 2010, at the age of 23, Tranman Gi officially became a flight attendant, entering an adventure full of promise and challenges. Tranman Gi, a girl who was a role model for success from a very early age, proved that there are no limits for those who have passion and determination. Until she took hobbling steps on the path of love with a boy. His name is Mac Jun Heen, born on November 4, 1987 in Shenzhen. After that, he and his parents went to Hong Kong to develop. His father is the owner of a small-scale Chinese and Hong Kong transportation company. That alone is enough to classify his family as a well-off family. However, Mac Tuan Heen is a man with a playful personality and poor academic performance. Currently, he and drunkenness brought them together, they spent a romantic night and the next day they both officially confirmed their relationship. Within a short time, the two moved in together. Not only Man Gi has feelings for Mac Tuan Heen, but on the contrary, he often picks her up after work and the two also often explore tourist destinations together. For those around Man Gi, life is full of happiness. Of course, Tran Man Gi is also very concerned about her boyfriend. Every time she flies to a new place, she always meticulously chooses small gifts to give to her lover. She knew that he liked to play golf, so she often ran to where he was playing to cheer him on even when she had just landed from the plane and hadn't yet changed her clothes. This scene made many people who played with Mac Tuan Heen admire and envy. However, the saying that time can change everything in less than a year, in September 2013, the two experienced a big conflict and ended their relationship in an unsightly situation. After only two months, Man Gi found a new boyfriend, Ho Wan Thien, an honest man who dreams of getting married with her. He works in sales for an electronics company in Shenzhen. The love between Man Gi and Ho Wan Thien, although not long, is very deep, with so many plans for the future, all the ambitions and dreams of both of them were building day and night, then suddenly one day everything collapsed. On December 8, 2013, Man Gi's sister received a call from her colleague saying that on the 7th, Tranman Gi did not go to work and was not on leave and the company could not be contacted. In fact, the family has not been able to contact Man Gi for several days. The last time the younger sister saw her sister was on October 4 when her sister was about to go on leave on the 5th and 6th, she thought that her sister would go out for two days after finishing work on the 5th. 4. Because her older sister was often like that before, she didn't find it surprising. It wasn't until she received a call from the company that she realized that something was wrong. She went to look at her sister's luggage because they lived in the same room with a double bed and two wardrobes. One piece of clothing corresponding to the bedside table for each person. 
Normally, two sisters will sleep in separate beds and use individual wardrobes. There was no indiscriminate sharing. When the younger sister lifted the quilt off her older sister's bed, what appeared before her eyes was her flight attendant uniform, handbag, high heels, and other items. Normally the sister never stuffs clothes under the blanket, not to mention someone hiding high heels under the blanket. The younger sister felt worried and called her father to search with her. At 2.10 am, the father opened Tranman Gi's closet. The closet was messy, but when he bent down to pick up two sets of clothes, he was startled when he accidentally saw a pair of human legs right inside. The father was extremely frightened and quickly called the police. After the police arrived at the scene and conducted an inspection, they identified the woman in the closet as Man Gi, who had been missing for four days, still wearing the Dragon Airlines uniform. Examining the body, forensic investigators determined the time of death to be three to four days earlier. She had a wound on her neck and scratches on her arms, legs, and knees. The cause of death was asphyxiation with a strange head position and blood flowing from the eyes and mouth. Above the wardrobe they found the suitcase that Tranman Gi used when going to work. The person who was most scared was her younger sister, who had slept in the room for several days without detecting anything unusual. It is completely reasonable, because the case occurred in December, the weather was quite dry and the body decomposed slowly, without an unpleasant odor. In addition, there were mothballs in the cupboard, used to prevent mosquitoes, so it was understandable that the younger sister didn't notice. After the police received the situation, they found Ho Wan Thien, Man Gi's current boyfriend. He said that the last time he contacted his girlfriend was December 4, and since then he has not been able to contact her. At the time of the case, Ho Han Thien was in Shenzhen and could not commit a crime. As for Ms. Mac Tuan Hien's ex-boyfriend, the police could not contact him and had no information. Who is at home? After checking and monitoring the apartment, they discovered that Mac Tuan Hien actually visited Tranman Gi's house on December 4, which was very consistent with the time Tranman Gi was murdered. Therefore, the police determined that Mac Tuan Hien was the main suspect, and the police conducted a major investigation with Mac Tuan Hien. It was discovered that Mac Tuan Hien was a famous gambler and had conflicts with Tranman Gi. On September 4, after an argument about money, Mac Tuan Hien threatened Tran Man Gi by strangling her. Luckily, she was able to notify the police in time and Mac Tuan Hien was arrested. However, at that time, the court issued a ruling requiring Mac Tuan Hien to pay a fine of 1,000 yuan, or about more than 140 United States dollars. Confiscate his cell phone for a period of time and sign a behavioral contract for one year. This means he cannot commit a crime for one year. This type of punishment does not leave a criminal record and is considered a light punishment. After that, the two ended their relationship. Tran Man Gi finally realized that Mac Tuan Hien was not a good person and to cut off contact, she blocked all of her ex-boyfriend's social network accounts. A friend of Mac Tuan Hien, named Tian, said, On December 6, Mac Tuan Hien came to talk to her and she could tell that he was unwell. Mac Tuan Hien explained, I'm really worried that something serious has happened to me. Tian guessed the reason many times but was denied by Mac Tuan Hien and then she calmly said, Don't say you killed someone? Tian admitted it was a joke. She also didn't really think how shocking what she was about to hear was. He did not hesitate to confirm Tian's question but in a way confessed that he had killed someone. He even said more specifically that he killed his girlfriend. Tian's testimony was the key for the police to boldly take the next steps to arrest the suspect. The police discovered that Mac Tuan Hien often did not golf and sought out people who played with him. They said that at 9 p.m. on December 5, Mac Tuan Hien went to the golf course but he said his legs hurt so he couldn't go out. However, one person saw two 5 to 6 centimeters long scars on his neck that looked like scratches. He then left the golf course at 11 p.m. and disappeared. The police are now investigating his origin. Mac Tuan Hien was born in Shenzhen, Guangdong so the Hong Kong police requested assistance to the Guangdong police. Hong Kong police offered a reward of 300,000 Hong Kong dollars, or more than 38,000 United States dollars, to capture Mac Tuan Hien. But unfortunately he quickly cut off contact with his family and fled to the mainland, completely without a trace for three years. In 2017, the special task force of the Guangdong police finally found clues about Mac Tuan Hien when he had a new girlfriend and lived in hiding at his girlfriend's house. 
In 2015, when his girlfriend gave birth to a son, Mac Tuan Heen confessed to his girlfriend that he was a murderer. But instead of reporting the crime so the perpetrator could be punished, she decided to hide it so her child could have a father. But then he still couldn't escape because his girlfriend's father called the police. And after just a few days of monitoring, they officially arrested Mac Tuan Heen at a beauty salon in Shenzhen. On October 29, after interrogation, Mac Tuan Heen confessed to killing his ex-girlfriend and hiding her body in Hong Kong. He was handed over to Hong Kong police. The murderer was finally brought to justice after three years on the run. During the interrogation process, Mac Tuan Heen lied many times to defend himself, saying, Tranman Gi invited him to his house to get winter clothes and that made him think that he still had hope. He begged Tranman Gi with the promise to behave better and she agreed. He further told the court that at that time we got back together and she called the company to ask for a leave of absence. On December 4, for a date in the evening when she went to her room to get clothes, I saw a text message on her cell phone that was a conversation between her and her new boyfriend Ho Han Thien. I was so angry that I argued with her. She even admitted that she had cheated on my feelings and insulted me a lot. Because I couldn't control myself, I accidentally caused her to die of suffocation. I tried to save her but couldn't, and because I was so scared I hid her body in the closet and ran away. But in fact those are excuses full of lies. Of course it was impossible to get past the police. They saw the case as planned by Mac Tuan Heen in an organized and methodical way and not at all like manslaughter. The police discovered that after breaking up with Tran Man Gi, Mac Tuan Heen was angry because she cut off all contact, so he created a new account to observe and when he learned that she had a new love, he planned to commit a crime in the style of, if you can't win, then destroy it. Foul. On December 4, he rang the bell at Man Gi's house early in the morning. When she opened the door, he rushed into the house and immediately controlled her and forced her to call the company to request leave, and the airline also recorded the leave form. After listening to the recording, Tran Man Gi's sister realized that the voice in the recording seemed shaky and unnatural, showing that she was forced. Mac Tuan Heen hopes to mend the relationship, but Man Gi doesn't want to do that. She's afraid that being together could threaten her life, especially after she almost died because of him. Meanwhile, Mac Tuan Heen revealed his cruel personality. He strangled Man Gi and eventually suffocated her to death. Then he began to disguise the scene put the victim's uniform, shoes, and handbag in the blanket, hid the suitcase in the top corner of the closet, and then placed Man Gi's body in the closet covered with clothes. Before leaving, he also took Man Gi's cell phone and bank card. After deleting all information on the phone, he sold it for 1,200 yuan. In the end he took 100,000 yuan in cash from his parents and ran away. It can be said that he performed these actions in a planned manner and without panic. In a conversation with a friend named Tian, he confessed that he had wanted to kill Tran Man Gi for a long time and Tian later also testified in court. After four hours of deliberation, the jury found Mac Tuan Heen guilty of murder with a ratio of six in favor to one in favor and sentenced him to life in prison. Mac Tuan Heen was not satisfied and appealed in 2020, but this appeal was rejected. The time from the decision to execute the judgment until the appeal took place was seven years. But it seems that this guy Mac Tuan Heen still doesn't have any remorse. He's a man and also the father of a child. But it seems like he's really immature because of his fundamentals as a man. Maturity is tolerant, mature, brave, able to admit mistakes, and find ways to correct mistakes. All of the above factors were absent in him. It's a pity that Man Gi didn't get to see his face sooner and had to receive such a tragic end. The video ends here. Thank you for watching the video. Hello and see you again.